what I do, that makes me very happy. No one is the person that they once were. Sometime or another, we lose something, we die alive. We all get older. If we stay here on this earth, we get older and we learn different things. And then what we have to do, we have to sacrifice the things that we have and the things that we didn't have, then we start to sacrifice with the things that we have now. We start to switch up, we start to change. We start to make the things that we have, make it work even more, more for us than they did back then, if we have to do. We have to learn that we can't constantly do what we used to do and be look, look as great as we used to because it's the age factor. Mr. Roy Jones, if you plan that you can really hurt Thomas Hearn and you can do something that you that no other man has ever done, your opportunity is about to present itself. What's in front of him is as big as obstacle yet. Uh, he's come back up 14 months, uh, rest break or whatever he wants to call retirement. He needs to be retired uh, for his own sake and for boxing. I don't think anybody wants to see a great champion like Hearns go out, you know, in a bad way. I respect him with a great deal, as I said before. But when we get in that ring, he's just another man. All right, you know, Carl Willis expects Tommy Hearns to come right after him in the first round. What does Tommy have left? He certainly has the big power. The punchers never lose it. They carry it far and deep into their careers. Tommy Hearns has that. He's always had the good jab from his boxing days, too. So he has both opportunities. Something very interesting about Tommy Hearns, talking about wanting to come back. You know, I guess these guys don't want to shed the limelight. It's easy to make whatever money is there. And, you know, the last guy real big superstar who left the game and stayed away the one time was Marvin Hagler who fought Tommy Hearns and that's been 10 years. Well Tommy Hearns never really has officially retired. You know 33 of his knockouts come within three rounds or less. Is intimidation a factor here tonight for Willis? Has to be coming in the reputation of Tommy Hearns, the mystique of Hearns, also what's happened to him throughout this day and on another hand he doesn't really seem pumped up in one respect. He came up to Tommy Hearns today and said, okay, I'll see you at ringside like it was no big deal. A guy like that is very vulnerable early in the fight. This is the first of a worldwide or nationwide tour for Tommy Hearns. He's beginning it here in Roanoke. He'd like to fight 15 more times. He's got some goals in mind down the road. Of course, Sugar Ray Leonard back in the picture and a fellow by the name of Roy Jones also on Tommy Hearns' mind. Well, he would like to qualify and get that type of a fight. He'll have to look sensational every time out if he wants to get people clamoring for that because most people right now look at Tommy Hearns in a match like that and say he's too old, he'll get hurt. It will be up to Tommy Hearns to change that perception. Tommy Hearns means a lot to the community here in Roanoke. Helping him with their victory, Jim. Tommy Hearns, a legend in the sport. He's been off for 14 months. Now, we saw a fighter earlier who was off for two years. Tommy Hearns, though, I do believe, knows what it takes to stay in shape year-round. I think he's in shape. He's at least good enough to be able to utilize the ring, look for his openings. He's been there so many times. He can do this in his sleep. And Tommy Hearns has the option of being either a fighter or a business person. His money is at stake in these fights now as he goes around on the cavalcade tour. Tommy Hearns, there he is in the ring here in Roanoke. The crowd favorite, of course, Tommy Hearns. Six world titles in five different categories. He'd like to move up. He comes in here about, well, what about 177 pounds? He'd like to move up and gain one of the legitimate cruiserweight titles as well. Well, that means you'd only have to unify about eight of them right now to get <laughs> something going. I, it's not the titles with these guys anymore. I think it's just so much in the blood. They hate to walk away from basically what they've done best for about 20 years. The history of Tommy Hearns, tremendous champion over the years, victories over Roberto Duran, a draw against Sugar Ray Leonard, lost to Sugar Ray Leonard, lost to Marvin Hagler, but six titles in five different weight classes. Tommy Hearns returns tonight here in Roanoke. Let's get the official introduction up to Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Roanoke Civic Center here in Roanoke, Virginia for the featured attraction of the evening brought to you by Global Sports Network and Steelhawk Promotions promoter Melanie Steele. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the Virginia State Athletic Commission, Commissioner Doug Beavers, presenting to you the officials as appointed, our physician at ringside, Dr. Juan Rivas, Timekeeper at the bell, Stanley Gold. Introducing to you our judges, scoring this bout from ringside, Vaughn Lapred, Phil Kornberg, and Wayne Peters. And a referee in charge of this bout, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Larry Doggett. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, the brawl beneath the stars, a light heavyweight special attraction scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing solid red trunks, he joins us from Nashville, Tennessee. He weighed in at 171 pounds, with a record of 23 wins, 5 losses. He has 17 of his wins coming by way of knockout, introducing Carl Willis. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner, really needing no introduction the world over. Wearing turquoise trunks and fighting out of his hometown of the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. He weighed in at 176 pounds. His record includes 56 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, 43 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is one of the great legends of boxing tonight embarking on a worldwide tour. Introducing the six-time world champion. Introducing the one and only... Thomas Hitman Hearn. Obviously, that was not Arnie Rosenthal. Jimmy Lennon sneaking in on a late flight to make the introduction of the main event. Nice touch for the main event. And in fact, it was Jimmy Lennon carrying the trunks and gloves for Thomas Hearns brought him just in time so hey we're officially ready for the fight we came to see i guess it all works out in the end it's just how you get there tommy hearns would like ray leonard would like roy jones all right guys i gave you instructions in the uh, dressing room you know about the three knockdowns you know about the headbutt you know about the low blows any question no sir okay let's shake hands let's get ready to get it on the one thing that strikes me immediately is the apparent size advantage of Tommy Hearns over Carl Willis. Substantial. Carl Willis looks like he's in one weight class too many here. Hearns is big. Checked in at about 177 pounds, and probably right about now he's right around 180. Far cry from the 147 pounds we saw him at earlier in his career. Think of how difficult that is to win a world title at 147 and then come up and win at 175 which he was able to do well Hearns told us this afternoon that he would dance to open the fight there you see Tommy Hearns on his toes but I did ask him if the opportunity presents itself will you throw that right he goes well if the opportunity presents itself of course well when he is doing the dancing you see all the jabbing of Tommy Hearns the big right hand pop is so often set up by the jab by Hearns. He gets his, lifts his opponent's head up with the jab just for that split second, and then right behind it comes the thunderous right. He is a textbook architect of how to put the jab and the right hand behind each other. And I think pound for pound, maybe one of the two or three most powerful fighters of the last 20 years. Oh, especially early in his career. He had devastating one-punch knockout power. And we'll see if that happens here again tonight. Last fight for Tommy Hearns was September 26th of 1995, a 10-round decision over Earl Butler. In fact, Hearns has only fought five times since his last loss in 1992 to Iran the Blade Barkley. And Barkley beat him twice. Indeed he did. Then Roberto Duran beat Barkley, and Hearns destroyed Duran. 
Styles, height and weight, especially how those, those styles make the fight. Well, this is working a jab. Yeah, jab his way in and establish a presence here. He will need to gamble at some point in this fight and test the chin of Tommy Hearns. Talked about intimidation being a factor, and so far, I think that it is not a factor. Willis appears to be fairly calm and in a, in a, in a good tempo right now for him. And they're both boxing. Tommy Hearns hasn't shifted into a power mode yet, and Willis is coming right at him. Plus, he's not in Tommy Hearns' hometown. There's sort of a neutrality about the site, which might help him here. All right, step back clean, guys. Come on, step back clean. No pushes. Come on, give me a clean step. All right, work. Let's go. Ring rust could be a factor with Hearns as well. He told us he was in good condition. You can see he is in good condition. But the reaction's not quite there in the first round. Willis is going to get brave. He landed a right hand on Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns getting loose in the first round. Scheduled for 10. We're back to Roanoke in a moment. Welcome back to Roanoke, Virginia. The Civic Center, Larry Michael, along with Dave Bontempo in the ring. Tommy Hearns no, needs no introduction against Carl Willis. Carl Willis from Clarksville, Tennessee, a record of 22-5 and 116 knockouts. Hearns a little tentative in the first round. The corner giving him instructions. How much instructions, how many instructions does Tommy Hearns need? Well, normally, somebody of his stature, you may figure, may not need too much, but that's his brother Billy in the corner giving him advice, and Billy has been a motivational force with Tommy for years and able to measure his performances objectively, not just as his brother, and Tommy has taken to that, so he listens. In this case, he'll listen to his brother and come on up. Now, Willis, in a low round, had an edge there. Hearns only landing four of 17 jabs. Some blood on the forehead of Willis. Right on the hairline. And Willis upset about that because Willis is feeling good right about now. He's got some pretty good momentum. Hearns is yet to get off. And a lot of blood from the forehead. That is not what you call a dangerous location, but it has Hearns jacked up a bit. Hey. Hearns beginning to loosen up now. Hearns nice body shots. Into his rhythm here. Let me have it. Let me have it. Get the up, Tommy. Hearns getting into his rhythm. A little bit more combination punching the right hand from outside and the sight of blood. Certainly, it seems, psyched him up, at least as a turning point. Now, right on the hairline like that, there's some blood in the left corner of Tommy Hearns' eye. Willis is in deep trouble here. Hearns wanting to close it out. Hearns is bleeding, and that would probably tell you that that was a butt. But from Willis, it was coming from the spot. It looked like a butt. Now Hearns is trying to load up here. Willis expending a lot of energy here in round two. Looked pretty good in the first round. The second round, a completely different story. Well, Hearns was jabbing a bit more, trying to find his space in round one. So Willis had a pretty good round, but... Hearns asserting himself more in the second. If I'm Willis, I gamble and try to land one on Tommy Hearns' chin. Test it out, see what happens. What do you have to lose? Of Hearns' four losses, three have come by route of knockouts. One to Barkley, one to Hagler, and one to Leonard. And James Kinchin nearly had him out before he was able to turn that around. And Juan Roldan nearly had him out before he turned that one around. Hurts digging the left. Willis not giving him room. Willis trying to smother Hearns. Good move. Taking the power away from those long arms of Tommy Hearns. Hard to tell if that is a cut, actually, on the left eye of Hearns, or it's just Willis's blood. Willis warily goes to his corner. Tommy Hearns a little wary in his corner as well. Doctor on the ring apron taking a look at Carl Willis. Well, based on where Willis had it coming from, it looked like a butt, and that's exactly what it was. Right after that, you see the blood appearing. Very quickly, right there on the hairline. 
Now, normally, those kind of cuts close up quickly and don't create a problem later on in the fight from another angle. It's high enough up where it should not by itself stop the fight. You see the both Bing. fighters leaning in, and that is the collision. Now, the referee, Larry Doggett, I don't know if he saw that, but as quick and as tight as the action was, the blood flow on the forehead of Willis has stopped. Let's see what happens here in round three. Well, in round two, Tommy Hearns landed more than 70% of his power shots compared to very low percentages in the first round. So he has found the range, loosened up, and he is stalking a win here. Willis does need to get closer, doesn't he? He's right in Tommy Hearns' power range right there. Yeah, he needs to slip the jab, but in a way that he doesn't go right into the path of the Hearns bomb. He needs to bob and weave, cover up as he's coming in, and make sure that he fires immediately after getting inside. Hearns trying to work his jab. Hearns, a veteran, sometimes will just show punches, not trying to land them just in order to set something up. And he has the innate knack of being able to land a shot right where your glove just had been. Chance of a lifetime for Carl Willis told us this is his chance to be somebody. Fields Hearns is overlooking him in this fight. And with good reason. He was handpicked by Hearns' people and had to be approved as an opponent by Tommy Hearns himself. So if Tommy Hearns thought he was too tough, Hearns would not have had to fight him. Willis knows that, and that has to be a motivator. Nice sneaky left there by Hearns. Right counter by Willis. Now, Hearns has not fought, like we said, in over a year. Might he want the work right now? He might want the work if he is so supremely confident, but... He don't want work like his, this. With his chin, he should not take that kind of chance. Hearns in the corner. Let me have it, fighter. Step back, clean. Larry Doggett asserting himself between the two fighters. The blood not a factor now in round three. There's the right hand. Willis shakes it off. Another right hand by Hearns. A left. Hearns beginning to sit down on those shots, Dave. At the good right hand in the beginning of the round. Almost surprised Willis didn't go down from that shot, but Hearns was a little bit more outside when he landed that. He'll probably get a little closer for that shot as he goes along. Yeah, Willis doesn't seem too awed by the power. No, he doesn't. He's coming forward. Nice jab by Willis. Finds the mark on the nose of Tommy Hearns. Tommy Hearns' nose has been broken several times. Willis there. You see a little buckle in the legs of Willis as he charged into Hearns against the ropes. Good body shot by the hitman. Another big body shot by the hitman. The mouthpiece. Some vintage Tommy Hearns here. Watch the mouthpiece come out. Big right hand. Mouthpiece is out. He lands a couple body shots. Fortunately for Willis, it was the end of the round. Tommy Hearns found a home on Willis's body with those power shots. Let's see if he continues. Well, Tommy Hearns has landed 52 of 79 power shots for the fight. Numbers like that will usually indicate a short fight. Blood flowing from the forehead of Willis. So there's the punch stats. So of the 63 by Hearns, 52 have been for the power. Willis not a bad percentage. He's hanging around at least. He's not awed by Hearns. He's trying to slip the jab and come in. He's still viable and live at this point. Willis beats Hearns to the jab there. The blood continues to flow from the head of Willis. Hearns has used, uh, used the ring nicely, as he told us he would dance, and Hearns has always carried a lot of weight in his upper body and not much in his lower body. Tommy Hearns had the jabbing style, was a very good amateur. In fact, in the first Sugar Ray Leonard fight, they had a total role reversal. He was the puncher, then turned boxer to survive after Leonard hurt him and nearly won the fight that way. He is that was from the sixth round on. Sixth round on. 
Then, of course, Leonard caught up to him in the 14th. Actually, the 13th and 14th. There's Hearns with that style of his with the left hand down low. Used to be a trait of the Kronk Jim. That left arm carried low. Trying to draw the opponent in for the right hand. Also giving him a chance to have more leverage, more freedom with his left hand. But Willis is hanging in here right, on him. Step back clean. Let me have it. Let me have it. Willis is not melting. No doubt about that. He's, he's sticking strong. And although Tommy Hearns did land some good right hands in round three, he's not bombing him out thus far with the right hand. And the longer this goes, the braver Willis will get. Willis fought last last month. TKO winner in 10 rounds over Paul Carlo. Before that, though, he was on a pretty bad streak. Knocked out four straight times. There was a no contest in between there. More action to close around here. Round four. Willis and Hearns. Tommy Hearns, the hitman, is back. Back with round five. World Championship Boxing tomorrow, December 14th. That's tomorrow afternoon from Albuquerque on ESPN. Round five underway. And Dave, through four rounds, how do you have this fight scored? I think Willis may have gotten one of these rounds. Three rounds for Tommy Hearns at two-point edge. He's in control, but Willis is still here. Look at the stats in the fourth round. Willis, a comeback. He just must have known the round I gave him. Willis and yeah, can build on that now. Making the point that he will get bolder the longer he's in this fight. He will fancy himself as having the chance to steal it. Hearns needs to take that away. A little bit of swelling around the right eye of Willis. Willis scores big with the right hand. Hearns clutches and grabs. Step back clean, guys. Come on, do it on y'all. Do it on y'all. Give me a good break now. Tommy Hearns known for that dynamite knockout punch. A little surprised we have not seen him just open up with the full arsenal. Yeah, looking for a little bit more of the Hearns hammer. Because fighters will tell you I need the work and everything like that. But in a situation like Tommy Hearns, you don't need the work. You'll get the work in the gym. You'll do what you have to there. Anything can be on the line when you fight. And he needs to look sensational in some of these efforts if he wants to get bigger paydays. Well, Hearns beginning to open up with the body shots. Left-hand counter. Nice punch by Willis. Willis is not wilting, which might be a bit of a surprise to Hearns. And he's on, taken Hearns' right down. hand, still standing. Hearns' last knockout came in March of 1995, a first-round TKO over Lenny LaFaglia. That means step back. Step back, guys. Come on, boy. Willis working the jab, trying to work the jab. Maybe we're not giving Willis enough credit defensively. Well, I think he's trying to slip Tommy Hearns and get in there. He's taking that opportunity in this fight. I think it's Hearns being reluctant to lower the boom like he just did. There's the right hand. Willis is hurt. His hands are down. He goes to a knee. And the referee steps in and stops this fight. Seconds to go in round five. The referee, Larry Doggett, stops it. And Tommy Hearns wins his comeback fight. A TKO of the fifth round. A little early on the stoppage, David. Yes, it is. There was the Hearns hammer we were looking for, though. He waited, unloaded the bomb, and there it is. Crowd does not like the early stoppage. There you see Willis bleeding from the head. Willis was close in this fight up to that point. 
The crowd doesn't like it. It is an early stoppage. However, Tommy Hearns had gotten to the point he was going to stop Willis if he had time in this round. He did hurt him with the knockdown, and he got him into the territory where Tommy Hearns does not let opponents get away. Let's take a look at how this fight ended. And it ended quickly, didn't it? The jab, the big bomb, that's the vintage Hearns. The uppercut. Now another shot. The right hand was the punch that sent Willis on his way. Now. And he was defenseless. You could say the referee could have given him one more opportunity, but take a look at how hurt Willis is. That big bomb surprisingly does not put him down. Then the uppercut. Working the body shots. He'll hit him behind the ear, the temple area. That throws Willis off. Now watch Willis's hands. He cannot stop anything here. He also did turn his back on Tommy Hearns, and you don't turn your back on the hitman. So Tommy Hearns, his 44th knockout of his professional career, the 18, 14-month layoff. Uh, shows Hearns rather nicely tonight. The right hand was the difference. The one punch got Willis rocked. Couple more to follow. Willis turns his back, takes a knee. The fight is over. And there you see the face of Carl Willis. Bruised and battered. Fight tonight. All right, thank you, man. Tommy Hearns, a TKO winner. A conversation with the hitman is next. We'll be back. Time of two minutes, 45 seconds of round number five. A referee in charge, Larry Doggett, stops the contest. He's the winner by way of technical knockout, Thomas Pittman Hearns. 2.45 of the fifth round. Tommy Hearns stops Carl Willis. Dave Bontempo is in the mass of humanity in the ring right now. Dave, always aggressive. Dave Bontempo, Dave, it's all yours. Okay, thank you, Larry. Tommy, what did you think when this guy was still hanging around there in the fifth round? Um, I expected the fight to be tough. I told him from the get-go, we're, we're going to Rono, and we want a credible opponent. We want somebody that's going to be in there that's going to fight. He's going to try to defend himself and make a fight of it. And this man came here to do just that. This man was determination to go, to go farther than just be there for a fight. Give him a, he wanted to win this fight. What set him up for the hammer that you dropped on him in the fifth? Uh, basically, I started looking low and aiming high. And once I started looking low, touch this, touching low, and then looking over top. That was the shot. Take us through it here, Tommy. There's a good look at it. You're aiming low, then the big right hand on top. It was, it was, it was a jab to the body first. He, it was a jab to the head, and he figured out, okay, I look low, I'll go to the body, and I came right over top. How did you feel in there as far as uh, the rust? How did you feel as far as your legs, your stamina, everything else? Um, I felt good. My stamina was good. But I, I did feel a little rain rust. I know that I'm a much sharper fighter. My, my purchase is much more active. But this fight here, it seemed like the timing and the accuracy was not there. So I'm working on that. I go back to the gym and I start working on that. Put it all together. Okay, Tommy, you've heard the critics. They say, you know, Tommy Hearns, fighters shouldn't be fighting at that age. You come back with a win here. What do you want to say? And who do you want to fight down the road? Um, they say Thomas Hearns should not be fighting. But Thomas Hearns is a man they got to look out for. They know when Thomas Hearns step in the ring, don't make no difference how old I may be or what, what kind of condition I may be in, they in for a fight that night. And they know that. So they want to get rid of me as soon as possible. But Thomas is not ready to go. Thomas go when he's ready to go. And for Roy Jones said that he would demolish Thomas Hearns with no cut. Bring it on, Roy. Bring it on, Roy. I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm putting out the challenge to you. All you have to do is accept. When do you think you'd be ready for him as far as what's good for you? When I'm ready for him, I'm ready for him when he's ready. I'm ready. You would do it now? Anytime. All right, Tommy. And I want, I want to give continued good success to you. I'll let Tommy continue. Back to you now, Larry. All right, Tommy Hearns, victorious, wins one for the victory gym here at Roanoke, the Roanoke City Boxing Association. Tommy Hearns involved with inner-city youth designed to provide a drug and crime-free alternative. Victory gym.